And ECOWAS is the Economic Community of West African States. It's an organization um, created in 1975 to uh, facilitate integration and development in the West Africa region. In ECOWAS, we have made uh, education one of our priority programs. And we invest a lot of resources and we have a lot of programs, not only for gender equality and education equality, but for education as a whole. Because we believe that it's only through education that you can reduce poverty, that you can uh, uh, reach development. When we make a policy at a regional level, it has become implementable in all member states directly. So it is, we don't need to go to parliament and uh, to have it uh, uh, ratified. So that is a very important step. And then once we have done that, uh, we now make sure that member states domesticate those policies and implement them. Because we know governments already themselves, they have so many challenges. But so we are here to assist the way we can assist. We train, as I said, we train them, we give uh, technical support, capacity building, and also finances when it's necessary. Recently, um, the member states have uh, requested that uh, technical and vocational training should be a big emphasis in the education sector. So we have trained over 1,500 teachers who are going to train themselves afterwards on the local uh, scene other teachers in vocational training who are going to work to how to develop e-learning uh, uh, because it is, as we're talking about innovation, that is an area we started uh, three years ago. And I think by next year, we're going to have a policy on e-learning for the region, which will you know, make it easier, especially for those who are not in the cities, and then uh, uh, so that they can have access to some kind of information, some kind of education, which will be validated. So we're working on that, and I think that is a, a big challenge. We are in the gender area. We are working uh, 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 towards uh, addressing issues of uh, violence against girls, uh, whether in a peace situation, like early marriage is a sort of violence against the girls, and the conflict situation, rapes, and all these situations, we are working with the United Nations to try to address those issues because they are life devastating uh, uh, situations. With UNESCO, we just uh, a, a finished publishing a curriculum on the uh, peace, peace building in our society a curriculum, which is a book which is going to be taught at the early stage in primary school through secondary school to inculc to our young students the peace, that living in peace is possible and it's that what we should do. My father used to say, education is the only thing they can never take away from you. They can take your car, your house, your money, but what you have up here, what you have learned, no one can take, no one can take it away. So learn, 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 because it's your, it's your wealth. And that's, can, that's the only thing that can make you move forward. Thank you.